Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we have another case study which I call what's wrong with my gel electrophoresis. So here's the um, topic of the day, why didn't my 15% SDS page have any protein bands. SDS page stands for the sodium dodicyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and here's a question. I have quantified my protein and peptides samples using BCA Pierce kit and apply 20 micrograms of the protein per well to run the electrophoresis. The molecular marker worked well, very well, but there were no bands from my samples. During the BCA quantification, I even had to dilute the samples cause the stock quantification was too high, more than 2000 uh, micrograms per milliliter beyond the method sensitivity. Staining with bromomethanol, blue, kumase, uh, what could be happening with my gel? Any ideas? Do you think that silver staining could work better? Protein samples were diluted in a water. I have found the answer in the question itself. Bromophenol blue and kumase is not the same stain. It is two different stains which serves two completely different purposes. So this researcher mistakes these two different stains, thinking that this is the same stain, just uh, different names for the same stain, but this is not so. So hence there is no bands, visible bands here. So what actually happened? We see nice bands in the ladder because probably different dye was used here, probably the one that was in the kit, but we don't see any bands here because bromophenol blue does not interact with DNA or protein molecules which are being analyzed. It is simply aids in visualizing and tracking the process of the electrophoresis run. So what for we are using bromophenol blue in gel electrophoresis? We add it to the DNA or protein samples to provide visual tracking during the gel electrophoresis. It is blue color uh, and allows researchers to monitor the migration process of the sample through the gel. This helps to estimate the distance traveled by the sample and determines when to stop the gel electrophoresis itself. Bromophenol blue is also serves as a front migration marker indicating the process of electrophoresis. It migrates ahead of the DNA or protein bands and can be used to estimate the distance migrated by the sample relative to the front. Bromophenol blue being a smaller molecule migrates faster than larger DNA or protein molecules. When the bromophenol blue has reached the desired position in a gel, it indicates that the gel electrophoresis run is complete and the gel can be stopped. Bromophenol blue also helps visualize the sample loading process. By adding it to sample, researchers can easily observe the sample entering the wells or loading slots of the gel. This ensures accurate and consistent sample loading. But again, because it doesn't interact with proteins and DNA, we wouldn't be able to see any bands here. Of course, if we use Kamasi Brilliant Blue or Silver Staining, we would be able to see those bands. Because we use those stains for protein visualization. For example, Kumasi dye binds to proteins, resulting in a visible color change. After electrophoresis, the gel is typically stained with Kumasi dye to visualize the protein bands. So you still can use this gel to visualize those bands if you would use um, correct stain. So Kumasi dain interacts with various amino acids residues in the proteins, particularly basic amino acids such as lysine and arginine. We also can use Kumasi staining for protein quantification. The intensity of the stained protein bands can be compared to known standards or reference sample to estimate 
relative protein concentration. And of course, with Kumasi Brilliant Blue, we can stain bands and we can excise them from the gel for further analysis, such as mass spectrometry for protein identification or enzymatic digestion for peptide analysis. And my last note would be, I almost forgot to mention that bromophenol blue actually can be of the different colors as you see, and its color depends on the pH of the solution. So we also add bromophenol blue in our buffer in order to control pH of the solution. So as you see, this color much about uh, pH between 7 and 7.4, maybe somewhere around 7.3. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.